Hey, Pisces, cross watchers, and those of you stopping by to see what we have going on over here. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you that have been supporting me, watching my videos, sharing my videos, um, subscribing, um, trusting me with your energy. Those of you that trust me with your energy um, to do personal readings. And also those of you that visit me on YouTube um, during the weekdays for readings. Um, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when your girl go live or drop another video. Um, this will be for the Pisces Collective. Let's see what the universe has for you. Come by and check your temperature. See what's going on. Alright, I'm about to get started. All right, source, what do you have for the Pisces Collective, please? Okay. First card out is the Nine of Wands. With the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, this is someone pushing forward. You may be in the Queen of Pentacles energy, Pisces. I feel like um a lot of you are pushing forward to get through what you've been through which is could be a whole bunch of turmoil um could have been a whole lot of stress but i feel like a lot of you are coming out of that energy um i feel like you are trusting your own morals values and beliefs you are going with that at this point yeah, you are setting the rules, setting boundaries with this Queen of Swords, and giving zero fucks about it. Um, yeah, you've been through some shit. A lot of burdens. Because we go from the Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands, which is good. Making progress. Putting an end into a whole lot of shit. No longer carrying anyone's burdens. No longer carrying anyone's responsibilities. And if you are, I feel like this is saying put an end to it. Dead that shit. Because it's not your responsibility. You should only be concerned about you, Pisces. Your kids. And if you got grown-ass kids, they are should be concerned and responsible for themselves. But yeah, I feel like you have gone within. Maybe you've talked to a few people. Um, maybe you're aligning yourself with a few people that's uh, talking, telling you good information. This is a lot of wands. Because after that, we have the seven of wands with the eight of wands. Hmm. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. So I feel like it's some shit coming at you fast, Pisces. You need to be guarded. You need to, It's time to be defensive and guarded because it's some shit that's getting ready to come towards you really fast. I feel like you're not going to be prepared. I feel like you're going to be prepared. Now, exactly, look, the Knight of Swords. You need to think on your feet, Pisces. Go after what you're passionate about. It's some shit that's getting ready to come up and it's coming towards you fast. And I feel like it's because you put an ending to a lot of shit. It could be some conflict with the Ace of Swords, new beginning, in true clarity and understanding. It could also be conflict. Look, this death card. You put an end into some shit. You are aligning yourself according to your own morals, values, and beliefs. You are setting boundaries. You have come out. You are guarded. Um, I feel like you are like, fuck this Queen of Cup energy, which you know is normally us. I'm switching to the Queen of Swords. Because this motherfucker think I'm playing with him. So, yeah, I feel like 
you're definitely switching up. I feel like some of us are also having choices when it comes to um, a position. This position could be within work with the Three of Pentacles. Or it could be within love and emotions with Seven of Cups. But I feel like a lot of us are having choices when it comes to what the fuck we want to do. Instead of what the fuck the next person want us to do. To fulfill their end of the bargain. Yeah, I feel like, Pisces, you're coming into a self-love energy. I feel like this is because something that was hidden um, damaged you. Yeah, something that was hidden damaged you. Hmm. Okay, give me more source. Give me two more, please. Something, yeah. Oh, shoot. Hold on, y'all. Something that was hidden damaged you. So it caused you to put an end into a lot of shit. It caused you to be in the queen of sword energy. It caused you to give zero fucks when it comes to situations. I feel like it also opened your eyes, Pisces, to see that a lot of the shit and a lot of the tasks that you were dealing with, a lot of the shit that you were dealing with, wasn't your responsibility from the beginning. It was always the other motherfucker's job. But, but guess what? Because we're so caring, we're so loving, and this could have something to do with the king of wands or a fire sign. I feel like because we're so loving, so caring, you know, we looked out for the next person and weren't really focused on ourselves. So, yeah, I feel like this is self-love. That's too many. Damn. I'd be damned. If this damn king of wands, this has something to do with a king of wands, conflict and competition. This motherfucker had you in a third party situation that could be what this three of pentacles is for. Too many people in the mix. Too many people in the motherfucking mix, Pisces. And it calls you to put an end into some shit. Retreat and go into this queen of sword energy. Go into bitch mode. And I shouldn't say that the Queen of Swords is not really bitch mode, but if you set in boundaries, motherfuckers gonna think it's bitch mode. So yeah. Um, but yeah, this person tried to have you in a situation where it was uh competition, conflict, lowering your self-esteem. Had you competing when you shouldn't even be competing. It shouldn't even be that many motherfuckers in the mix or in the equation for you to compete. So, yeah, I feel like if you haven't put an end into it, it's time to. And if you have, congratulations. But I do feel like it's some energy or some shit that you don't see that this motherfucker got cooking up behind the scenes. Because guess what? You abandoned their ass. You put a death to the situation and abandon their ass. Now they have some shit cooking with the moon card. Where was it? Had some shit cooking that you don't see coming. That's coming real fast. With this seven of wands and this eight of wands and this knight of swords. Uh oh, hold on, Pisces. But yeah, I feel like um, it's time to put an end into that shit. Dead that shit, let it go, and guess what? If they want to be in your life, they want to get right, that's when you'll accept their ass back. But I feel like it's time for you to move on. I feel like it's time to move on and let that shit go. 
Did it. Move on. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's confirmation for me. Two of Wands, baby. The world is your oyster. Look out. Okay, I purchased some new cards. Soul Connection cards. When two hearts meet, love Oracle cards. Let's see what the universe has for the Pisces Collective. What do you have for the Pisces Collective as far as Oracle card source? You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. First card out. I'm taking three. Two more swords. Okay. One fail. And this one is union. The union of divine source counterparts is, miracul is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. Hmm. So it looked like somebody have somebody coming in. After you drop this shit, guess what? It looked like you got somebody coming in. Yin and yang. Energy. But let's see what the last card is. But yeah, it's time to um, love. Love conquers all. And I feel like this motherfucker that we talking about right now in the previous in the cards didn't have love and energy i feel like this motherfucker was a user and was trying to get all they could get out of you pisces that's why i think it's time to dead that situation dead that motherfucker and forget the, forget about them let them have that shit the world is your oyster and you know keep it moving keep it moving um, that's all I have for you today, Pisces. I hope you like it. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live during the weeks, during the weekdays. And also, please share. Share the videos. Um, share them with your mama, your cousin, your girlfriend. Well, no, not your girlfriend, not your girlfriend or your boyfriend, because we don't need them fucking up the energy and knowing we know what the fuck going on. So, yeah, share it with everybody except for your, your significant other. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.